Okay, folks, we are live once again. Let me just get some admin stuff taken care of. We're going to share this over to the fans or Rusty Hammer Forge page. And as always, check a little audio here. Make sure our audio is good. I got some uh, wireless headphones and microphone in tonight. So should have a better quality voice than what we've had without it. Let me get this stuff shared and we'll be we'll get Fred started. Be good to hook. Let's see what we have going on here for let me make sure we got good sound and everything on. So let me get let me get Fred started and then we'll talk about just what we're gonna use for our piece here. Let me get a little bit better angle here so that if I do have to go to the anvil, which I probably will, we can get all of that in the shot as well. But let me get Fred started first. Let's see if this will actually light today. So, oh. all right, match as it is. That is okay. Okay by me. Matches are guaranteed. We are going to be using the press. Don't have the new one yet. Sorry, everybody. Not yet. We will probably have to change out bottles here pretty soon, here during this session here. Let me get my, my wood and everything out of the way. So let's get just a better view here of everything. So I have to come here. We're good. Push this way just a little bit. If I have to come over here, it's just, it's going to be just for some cleanup, and then you should be able to see everything here. Okay. Uh, my water bucket here real quick. Okay, so we're going to be using some, uh, we have some, this stuff right here, it's actually a spring steel, not sure what type, big old gigantic springs off of some farming equipment, absolutely gigantic, really good steel, a friend of mine, David Spillock, made a hatchet out of this stuff, worked out really well, so... It's going to work out really nice 
for our ads. Now this is only about three inches long and roughly an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth in diameter. No fire sale rotor. It will just be available for purchase up on the website. Unfortunately, I mean, that's just the way things are going to have to go. Let me see if I can get up underneath. The, oh, yeah. So we got to get this thing super hot. So we're going to squish the blade portion of our ads first underneath the press. Now we have a forming die with a rounding side and a flat side on the top and a flat anvil die on the bottom. So um, we're going to be, because you want that kind of flat side, then we'll bring that over here after we get the eye done and start really forming that blade. It doesn't have to be that big. Now, maybe, maybe talking maybe, um, maybe two inches wide, but it's going to have a, a rounded nose and uh, maybe a blade length of uh, two to three inches long. And so we're going to go use about an inch and a half of this underneath the press. So we're going to go right at half or as close as we can get to half. And we're going to get that all that flat spotted. Then we'll then we'll draw our, our knife and the blade side of the ads, and then we'll drift it. We'll drift it down through. Now I'm going to put a pretty hefty handle in this. For the main fact that I, I just don't want to come out and this is a tool that won't be sold unless somebody really really wants it it's going to be something that i'm going to be using in my demo come june 5th and you know starting my my kit and so i bought these these gouges and and some carving knives from a ukrainian smith who this is what he does and these push gouges are a little bit, the handles are a little bit too short. Um, the hook, the hook knife is really, really nice. So the ring knife, what do you want to call it? It's a, a semicircle knife that's sharpened on the bottom side, meant for, for carving, you know, and, and, and gouging out underneath stuff and, and setting a, overhangs and shit like that um they're really nice tools i just need the handles a little bit longer so i'm not going to screw too much with these i'm probably going to take the rings off the top and because i'm not going to hit them with them with a rubber with a leather mallet at all that's not what they're made for um any kind of a push chisel or a push gouge or a pull gouge um they're complete through tanks because they have, you're going to be, I mean, I mean, they're, they're not through tanks. They are either partial or hidden tang um, pieces. It's the striking ones that are the through tanks. So you have a strike plate on the end of them. Well, these, these are pushed, but they're set up for, for striking with like a wood mallet or something like that. And they're not, that's not what they're made for. That's probably what he made them for. But the design dictates a for pushing well the handles aren't long enough for pushing and so they are but my big old mitts not so much and so i'm going to keep those the way they are and just rebuild my own eventually but they'll work for, for uh what i have and i i'll show you guys before the night's out or maybe i won't show you maybe i'll wait till no i, I won't show you too much maybe i'll show you tomorrow or something the uh, the bowl that I have going on that I did in about an hour and thirty minutes it's not done it's just the bowl is. and I you know we'll get those done and then I have to make two more 
halfway done and then have two more blanks cut from that. And when I'm using the wood, I'm using this elm. Uh, really nice wood. They're not really nice, but I'm, I'm splitting these in half. So we're getting we're getting two bowls out of one one uh, cube, so to speak. So this is heating up pretty good. And the main reason we're making an ad is because this is going to save my hands immensely. Especially since I can rough a lot of this bowl out with a, with an ads and then clean it up with the with the push gouges and the and the chisels and and um, the knives and everything. So, so I don't want to use any modern equipment on these. It's hand tools and sandpaper. And if I had sand, I have a nice 16 pound shot here. I'd probably roll sand around in it to smooth it, it, it down. Um, I was going to do a burn-in. I'm not going to do a full burn-in. I will show the burn-in. It's just taking too much time, you know, especially since a burn-in is you burn a little bit, you clean it up, you burn a little bit more, you clean it up, you burn a little bit more, you clean it up, you burn a little more, you clean it up. It's That would be a whole demonstration unto itself. So I'll talk about it and I'll show some of it, but I will be actually carving into it. It's just too much time. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna set the blade on the press. Now this is an underpowered press still. The pump not not a big enough pump to it, and so it's gonna take a little bit for it to start to get set. So I really move this out and about. Now the main reason I'm doing the blade first. For one, it gives me something to hold on to when I'm when I'm drifting it, and for two, it's easier. It's much easier to drift the hole after forging the blade, and not have that malformed hole that that, that got upset onto itself, and you still got you got to clean it up big time, and and it's just all over the place. It's much easier to rough that blade out, drift your hole. And then, um, or punch your hole, then drift it out, and then play around with cleaning up that, that blade. So it really comes down to preference, but this is how I've done in the past. This, this is the easiest way to do it, um, in my opinion. Get that blade out of the way, and then you're just left with the portion you get a punch a hole in. Now this will be much easier once I get my new press. I mean, it should be here in the next two weeks. Um, I'll be able to do a lot more of these tools. I love making these tools. The ads is such a good, uh, such a cool addition to anybody's toolbox. Um, it can be used as a gardening tool to cut roots. It can be used by wood carvers and woodworkers. Um, you can use it as a carpenter. You know, and it just goes well. You know, you have your carpenter set, you have your ads, you have your draw knife, you have your um, all these other tools, you have your your hewing axes. This tool goes well in in the in that conversation. All right, we're almost there. We're pretty much going to be pressing this right around welding heat just because of the underpowered uh, pump. I got my other camera on order too. One just like this, it'll it'll be for everything inside, and this one will be for out here. But I'll still have my my headset on for the microphone because it's a much better um, interaction. My voice is 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 heard a lot easier. That's good, but it still sounds like you're yelling down a pipe. All right, 
first heat. about halfway on this. You guys should be able to see that pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. What I can do is, I'm not going to be going to the anvil anytime soon. What I'll do is I'll move this to where you can really see what I'm doing here. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water or you know, just have someone bring me out some water. So I'm going to be the disembodied voice in the background for a while. I guess I can loosen this up and turn it towards me for the time being. Oh, so I want to leave this relatively fat where we're going to be drifting through for right now. We don't want to touch it with the drift at all or, or with our with any kind of forging. I want to leave as much meat in that eye area as possible. Okay, we're getting close again. That new press is going to save me so much. It's also going to make me a lot of money. I'm going to be able to have stuff in stock. I mean, hammers, tongs, is, I could forge some tongs on it, but I'm probably not going to. But hammers, adds, claw hammers, grounding ha uh, blacksmith hammers, um, drifts, axe drifts, all kinds of cool stuff I can make and have the in stock and sell. Water! Thank you. Now, I don't know how noise canceling these are. We got that. I know yesterday you could really hear the fan in the in the background. That's almost a must right about now. It just gets too hot in here otherwise. Plus, the camera equipment and everything on that side, all the heat's being blowing it back over to this side. Okay. Let's get another press on here. This would already be on to the drifting stage in the new press.
but you use what you have. It is what it is. So I'm going to have a hammer days where I have guys over at the shop help me make hammers, playing with the new press, you know. And for every every three for every two hammers they make me, the third one they take home. So if I give them, basically, if I give them five blanks, they'll take one hammer because they built me four. But I would give them six because that way they'd take two hammers home for building, uh, for building me four hammers. So that'd be kind of a dick move. The third hammer, you make you make two hammers, that third hammer is yours. Well, I'm only giving you five, so you're going to make me an extra two, and you're not going to get that extra hammerhead. <laughs> That'd be really dick moving me. So we'll have just a shit ton of hammer blanks down. I'll be making, we won't be doing too many um, specialty hammers, mainly just workhorses, two and a half two to two and a half to three pound heads. I do have some sledgehammer stock over here. Uh, I'm not sure that that new press for the strippers in it will, will fit it. We'll have to see. My hammer prices are going up by ten dollars a pound because I have to. I'm going to be making my handles from now on. We're going down here to, in town, Jensen Hardwoods. I'll go buy. They got a, a, a twelve, a two, two by twelve by ten. So that's two inches thick, twelve inches wide, ten feet long of straight grain hickory, and so. I'll go buy that slab, cut it into um, probably 14 inch, two by two by 14. Maybe a little less because less than two, because by the time you, you, you work in the kerf from the saw blade, your, your last cut, your last one's going to be smaller, so maybe a bit less so that each, all of them are the same to take up for that curve. Okay. Now I want it a little bit hotter, but we're we're running on a lower tank right now, so it's not pushing as much heat as I'd like.
So we're not if we're not getting as hot every heat. That's okay though. I should have rebuilt Fred in December. It's, just a, it's, it's a better, it, it's, well, for one, clean insulation, clean bricks. And, you know, the ability to do the quick change on the the players now, you know, I'm so glad that Justin finally convinced me that it was that this was the way to go, and it truly is having that that quick change for your players. It, it saves so much time. I mean, it's what probably 15 minutes versus four hours. Getting a little more heat in there. Almost ready for next heat. That looks hot, but it's not. Not hot enough to uh, to do anything with. I need to get my tank in or my my bin in here. tanks in so I can really bleed them dry. So you put your, your, your tanks in a, some water and they won't freeze up so you'll be able to use every ounce of propane in them. And how you tell they're empty is when your tank floats. Once your tank starts to float, it's empty. It's done. So coincidentally, this is the exact same process you would take when making a claw hammer. 
the exact same. It splits off here in a little while, you know, to be a claw hammer. But up until that split, you're you're making an ads or a claw hammer. It doesn't really matter what it is. And the same thing when you're making a uh, what is it? Is a German style cross bean? I believe it has a big step in it. Yeah, that new press, we'd be done. This 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 adds would be ready for grind, ready for well the hand drift. We'd be on to hand drifting, almost done, go, almost ready for um, heat cycling and annealing stuff like that. So it's it's gonna save so much time. Okay, we are close. So I'm just going to be pressing up close to the eye for a little bit, try and get that pushed down. Because it'll it'll press real easy out there on the end. Now this is not going to be a a a, cur a curved ads in a way that it. It's like half of a pipe curve or half of a circle, a semicircle. No, it'll be a semicircle on the cutting edge, but it will be a flat blade. Kids are at a track meet. Oh, there's two older ones at a track meet tonight. They're in Richland. It's, there. I, I, it's like one of the, well, it's the trophy meet, I guess, even though they're home meet. They have one more meet left before regionals. 
and I don't believe my kids will love. I mean, who knows? They they may have. It's different than when I was in track, where you, when you go to districts, I mean, everybody has a chance to make it. If you just throughout the season you perform well at your districts, you have a chance to go to state. You know, so I think it's a little different here in Washington how they run it. But I don't know. I don't know. So my son doesn't have a chance unless he PRs by four minutes. But we're going to work with him this summer, get his time, get everything ready to go for his senior year. And then my eldest daughter, she's a thrower. She's doing javelin discus shot. But this will be her first whole season. She's a sophomore. Last year got cut short for freshman year. And this is a shortened season for her sophomore year. So... We'll, we'll get her in the ring and on the runway this summer. And hopefully next year when they roll in the track season, they'll be catching the coach's eyes, you know. Um, that's the goal, at least. Oh, Zach. Use some big duck bills, I think, for these next few presses. Getting there, it's slow, but this is why we bought the new one. But who knows? I mean, we may get a call from my daughter and saying that she PR'd and is one of the top throwers and yada 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 who knows i don't know you know they're not i don't know they're not teaching like when i was in high school my, my track coaches were phenomenal teaching power and hips and your everything starts on the plant and over the over the plant lock the hips you know, shoulders are everything else comes to last. You know, really teaching from the from the ground up, from the feet all the way through, and going to freaking camps that were put on by Olympians and stuff like that. You know, in the in the summertime. Now, obviously, that's not something that can be done right now, but um, it, it just just looking at. The crop that is coaching, I, I and I you can't put it all on the coaching. You know they have a tough job to do right now. I'm not putting it all on the coaching. I'm just saying when I was in school, my coaches, the way I'm watching them practice is kind of odd. Just certain things that aren't being done. But so we're just going to take care of it this summer. And I got discuses, I have javelins, and I have shot puts. And we're going to go to the, and I was a long distance runner as well in high school. I was a long distance runner, a sprinter, kind of everything. Only reason I couldn't be, I, I couldn't be a decathlete is because I was too big for the pole vaulting.
this would have been faster starting out with a hammer but my shoulders and everything's pretty sore and i got a big old blister on my freaking hammer hand so we're just gonna take it nice and slow Now, if I had made a rod that I could put up underneath of there, I could get this probably down a little quicker, but it's whatever. Whatever. wonder if putting the big puller, bottom puller in, that was hot. And coming underneath of it like that would work better. to sit right dead nut center but apparently it's not i think it'll work fine though all right let's see let's see if that allows us to squish a little harder should a little bit more not by much it's just 200 powers oh well worth a shot that's gonna be warm we're almost we'll pretty we'll turn that up a little more almost out of propane on that tank. I cannot wait for my new press. It is going to make, well, it's going to make you guys watching is going to be a lot better, a lot better uh, content. It's going to be really good.
other meat. But I mean, it's good. You guys can see that we'll be able to see the biggest, the big difference in production work when it comes to the new press too. So it's going to be, I say, I can't say it enough. All right, now we're hot. All right, I'm going to have to start doing a little bit of pressing on the eye portion, just squaring up basically, so I can flat spot that bottom side on the blade. Right now, it's kind of at an angle. So that the eye part's gonna where the hole's gonna the eye the the head is gonna be is sticking up. So we're just gonna flat spot. Yeah, that new, I keep coming back to the new press. That new press is going to, instead of like hour and a half episodes or even longer doing heavy forging, I mean, we're talking 30 minutes, 30 minute episodes. Sweet. So 
don't get me wrong. This little guy has saved my arm so much since, since getting it. Uh, big thank you to Justin Riley for helping put it together. You know, um, just the Damascus that we've done on it, the amount of hammering I would have had to do, it's amazing. And then to have my wife tell me, dude, put the screwing around. We have the money. Go buy that the piece of equipment that you need to buy so we can get this thing done. Outstanding woman right there. Especially since we get all the money back. A little flat spot. Took it down quite a bit. I mean, we could have done this pretty quick with a hammer, but my shoulders are fucked right now. We got a good squish out of that.
we'll probably shut down here in a minute and get ready to go pick up the kiddos. This thing finished out here tomorrow morning. This tank's about dead. It's not pushing as good hot of heat anymore. It's already done. Fire sale already went off there, bud. I scheduled it on um, a Tuesday last week. Travis Corson won. All right, that's where we're going to stop here for the day. Looks pretty good. Got a good start to it. Yeah. So we're going to let this anneal in here. We got it it's under a lot of pressure right now. We'll have to change out channel, change tanks tomorrow. And get this finished tomorrow so that I can get these damn bowls done. All right. Get some practice on the bowls. I mean, I did pretty, I have a pretty good job on them right now. But... You know, it's just tearing up my hands as to make it a whole lot quicker, which is what I need to be. It's quicker. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> the fire sale is uh, is on the page. You can see, you can watch the uh, the video of it.
but um, if you want to, probably won't do another one for a while. It, it took a long time for it to fill up, a long time. And that's just my experience with that kind of stuff. It takes too long. And it's, it's cool for you guys, but when they drag out that long, not so cool for me. So, um, but we'll still do them. We just won't do a lot of them. Maybe do one this summer. But that's uh, how we're going to rock it. If you guys want anything, I am filling up my store. It doesn't look like it, but the store will be filled. I'm taking, and once I get the press and everything, everything's going to go a lot quicker. We'll have hammers, we'll have tongs, we'll have all kinds of good stuff. Knives on there, trinkets, you know, I'll put trinkets and stuff back on there. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's how we're going to rock it. So I hope you guys appreciate it or not appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciated this like it's like I'm doing you a favor. No. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the show. I'm um, understanding it was a little bit slow because the press is not very powerful. Um, but the press, this press does a really good job when it, uh, when it comes to Damascus. It's not quick, but with a little bit of time and a little bit of money, um, it will, it will run and the person that's going to, um, has, will have the ability to do that a lot easier than myself. So, um, be good for them big time. So uh, we're going to get back at everything tomorrow and uh, get these bowls done and these two that I have to get done. Um, get the other, the next stage started. It'll be a little bit on the outside of the bowl and get it to right around halfway done, which is the bowl done and then carve the outside. So it's going to be interesting because I know the ads will do the outside, but I'm not sure how everything will hold up. So we'll have to, we will have to see. This is why we do practice rounds before we go live with it. So, but uh, thanks everybody once again. Stay safe out there wherever you find yourself. Be well. Love y'all. Before we're done.